This is James of Bond with James, and this is the DNA and RNA I have who has card sort activity. There are 24 cards in this set as of the making of this video, and this is a chain slash looping game. It does not matter where you start within the set. I can start with the first card, I can start with the card in the middle, I can start with one of the cards, you know, at the end. Again, it doesn't matter where you start. You can play this game as a whole class, or you can play this game um, with students either in pairs, or actually pairs probably wouldn't be the best idea, but in perhaps groups of four. Again, there are 24 cards in this set, so if you were playing in groups of four, each student would receive six cards. And the way this game works is that, again, it doesn't matter where you start, if I wanted to start with, and when I say second card, I mean the second card within the, within the product. Um, if I started with the second card, I would read my card first. I have inversion, who has the monomers that serve as the building blocks for proteins. And students would need to listen carefully to that clue and whoever had the card or the answer for that clue would then read their answer. Oh, I have amino acids. And then that stu student would read, who has an area inside the cell that contains the genetic information required to code for proteins. And then hopefully, Students, you know, based on their understanding of the vocabulary terms, they would continue going around and around until they come back to the card, in this case, this one, that started off the game. And that is when the game ends. If you want to play as a whole class, and let's say, for example, you have the magic number 24 students, because there are 24 uh, cards in this set, um, then each student would receive a card. Um, so you can play that way as well. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them here in the video, um, in the comment section, or on my Teacher Pay Teachers page in the Q&A. As always, thank you for watching, and you can always subscribe to my videos by clicking on the link in the upper left-hand video or on the button below this video. Thanks for watching.